Our next guests are the 67th Secretary of State and a number one New York Times bestselling author, but now they are also the co-authors behind the new novel, State of Terror, an international thriller ripped straight from the headlines that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Hillary Clinton and Louise Penny are here with us here in studio. Thank you both for being with us this morning. Thank oh, you. thanks, Amy. And Secretary Clinton, I don't think it's too much of a stretch for people to see the parallels between this fiction novel and American politics in the past mm -hmm. several years. Are we in a state of terror? How close are we, if not? That's a great question. You know, part of what motivated Louise and I to write this book is, you know, not only to, um, give readers a thrill and, and give them a great opportunity to meet fascinating characters that, you know, really came out of Louise's brain that were inspired by other Wait a people. So this was this was a collaboration. Yeah, but it but it <laughs> but it was. But you know, it was also because I do worry that we face a lot of really serious uh, problems that um, don't get the attention they deserve. So as you know from this book, uh, it, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of entertainment, but it's also a really serious problem of terrorists potentially getting access to nuclear weapons. It's a, kept me up, a, up at night when I was Secretary of State. It's a cautionary tale. It is a cautionary tale, yes. And, and Louise, um, it's pretty remarkable. I was reading up on your partnership. You were, your, your collaboration was really born from loss, it correct? It was, it was. I had lost my husband in 2016, just before the election. Hillary wrote the most wonderful letter of condolence, uh, very detailed about my husband, Michael. And she had never met me. She hadn't met Michael. You'd read the books, I right? loved your books, though, Louise. But, I felt like I knew you. And you took time out from the most brutal election campaign to write to a Canadian who can't even vote. It was an act of kindness that I I've rarely seen and selflessness. Um, and then the election didn't go the way we all thought it should. Well, not all a of loss us, of another kind. A loss <laughs> yes, of another kind. The loss of the election. Um, and then we met finally in, in February of the next right. year and just became friends because I had nothing to offer you. You had nothing to offer me. And so we were two women of a similar age who bonded over grief. Yeah. yeah. And also brought together by uh, my best friend from sixth grade who inspires one of the characters uh, who Louise had gotten to know and became a great, great friend of, of hers as well. And to, you know, spend time together as we did uh, from 2017 until Betsy's death in 2019, you know, it was just such a gift uh, to both of us. And that friendship, you know, went much further than even the closeness that I had with Betsy that Louise then shared. And we wanted this book to be a political thriller. We do want you to be on the edge of your seat. <laughs> But we also wanted it to be about relationships, about love. We wanted it to have a lot of heart. We wanted it to feel like you were getting to know people who were in the cauldron of these fast-moving, dangerous threats, but never lost their humanity, which no. sometimes is, you know, kind of hard to keep. And that's the thing, don't you find in thrillers, that, that you don't see a lot of these, the women strong older women characters. You mm -hmm. see it in real life, mm -hmm. the female bonding, but you don't see it necessarily in thrillers. And we wanted to write a book that we really wanted to read. Yes, that's very important. And we wanted important. to write about characters that, yeah. that people would care about, that we cared about. Right. So you're right, it, it was, yeah. it's more than just explosions, although God knows there are some of those. <laughs> I love how you all are finishing each other's sentences. You can see how well the collaboration must have gone in writing this. And you, you alluded to this, but many of the characters are from people in your real life. I'm curious, Secretary Clinton, how much is Ellen Adams, the Secretary of State mm -hmm. in your novel, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton? You know, I use my experience to inform the character, but as I write in the acknowledgments, I was really inspired by another wonderful friend of mine, Ellen Tauscher, a former member of Congress who became the Undersecretary for Arms Control, dealt with the Russians on nuclear weapons, was really in the middle of trying to keep our world safer, and she sadly passed away in May of 2019. Um, just two months before Betsy uh, lost her battle with breast cancer. So I thought a lot about Ellen, who I was very close to and admired and, and just had the highest um, respect for. So it's a combination of characteristics, 
of people who I both know and that came out of the imagination of, uh, of Louise so that we really had a collaboration that brought my experience uh, with her expertise and great experience and tried to come up with characters, as she said, who you'd want to know, who you'd want to mm. spend time with. Because part of what hooked me on Louise's series of uh, set in Quebec featuring an incredible character named Gamache, is how much you wanted to know these characters. You wanted to find out what was going to happen to them next. That's what we want people to feel like reading this book, too. And I also want to mention, Hillary, that because uh, people come to the end of a book and they often just close it and say, you know, that's it. We want this book, obviously, to live on, to be memorable because of, of that. But I really encourage people to read the acknowledgments because Hillary's acknowledgments are the most beautiful acknowledgments I've read, some of the most beautiful writing I've ever read. And, and the way you chose to end the book is mm. perfect. Yeah, you, you believe, I believe you said it's up to us to make sure the plot stays fictional. After right. writing this, any interest at all in getting back into the game of politics? I will never be out of the game of politics. I'm not going to be running for anything. But I really feel, Amy, and I know uh, George was interviewing Adam Schiff mm -hmm. before, I really feel like our democracy is at stake. And there's many reasons for that. Some of them we saw on uh, the screen with the insurrection. Some of them because of the revelations about Facebook that creates a world of disinformation instead of you know, one that uh, we can agree on what the facts are. I, I really am worried about what's happening at home and around the world. So I'm never going to get out of uh, you know, being uh, involved, worried, and hopefully trying to help in some way. Secretary Clinton, Louise Penny, thank you both for being with us. Thank we you, really Amy. appreciate it. Want to let everyone know State of Terror, it hits bookshelves everywhere tomorrow, so pick up your copy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.